19th problem if 1 degree is equal to 0 0.01745 radians then the approximate value of tan 46 degrees first option 1.0259 second option 1.0394 third option 1.0349 fourth option 1.0493 once again let me repeat or let me recall tan 45 degrees we can find out directly with using using the tables that is one but if you want to find out tan 46 degrees so we have to refer the cal, uh, table actually otherwise you go for calculator but without calculator with the help of calculus we can find out very simple ok. So, in the previous problems we have done in the similar pattern here also we have to find out tan 46 degrees the tan 46 degrees depends upon one shortcut formula already we have noted in the introduction part. So, just recall it so that is tan of x plus delta x tan of x plus delta x approximately equal to tan x plus tan x derivative is secant square x into delta x 46 degrees means that we can write 45 degrees plus 1 degree where x is 45 and delta x is 1 degree 1 degree we have to express in radians ok I hope you might have understood this problem. So, let us proceed here hint this we are asked to find out tan 46 degrees. This we can write tan 45 degrees plus 1 degree because tan 45 degrees simply we can write that is equal to 1. So, now here we have one formula tan of x plus delta x approximately equal to tan x plus secant square x into delta x just remember this formula is enough. Now, tan 46 degrees is equal to approximately equal to tan 45 plus secant square 45 delta x is 1 degree, 1 degree is already given 0 0.01745. Now, approximately equal to tan 45 is 1 plus secant 45 is root 2, root 2 square is 2 into 0 0.01745. Do not worry, let us calculate it. 1745 multiplied by 2, 10, 9, 14, 3. How many points? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 points. So, this is equal to we can write now 1 plus 0 0.0349. This approximately equal to 1.0349 which is the right option ok I think third option. So, 20th problem the height and slant height of a cone are measured as 15 centimeters and 25 centimeters errors 2 percent are allowed in both of these lengths the possible error in its value is 120 pi cc 100 pi cc 60 pi cc 30 pi cc that means regarding to the this problem height h is 15 centimeters slant height l is equal to 25 centimeters errors in both these lengths are 2 percent each that means delta h is equal to delta l is equal to sorry delta 
L by L into 100 is equal to delta H by H into 100 is equal to 2 percent given and possible error we have to find out, delta V we have to find out. So, first let us write this problem is related to the cone here H is equal to 15 centimeters. L is equal to 25 centimeters. Next, delta H by H into 100, delta L by L into 100 is equal to 2 given and possible error delta V is equal to question mark. So, let us find out. Here, Value of the is given by V is equal to 1 by 3 pi r square h. Okay, here is one question. This is a function of radius and height, but radius is not given, it is L and H. So, that means it is necessary that r square should be changed in terms of H and L. See, Suppose, if you take the figure, this is cone figure, this is base radius r, height this will be L, so right angle triangle. What is the relation we have? L square is equal to h square plus r square. So, what is r square? L square minus h square, just replace there. So, this can be written pi by 3 into r square means L square minus h square into h. So, pi by 3 into L square h minus h cube. Differentiate with respect to any one of the variables say h, delta v by delta h is equal to pi by 3 into this is uv method L square h differentiation 1 h into 2 L delta L by delta h and minus 3 h square multiply with delta h. So, delta V is equal to pi by 3 into L square delta H plus 2 H L delta L minus 3 H square delta H. From this condition, we have to find out delta H value and delta L value. So, substituting pi by 3 very interesting problem. L square into delta H is 2 H by 100, 2 H by 100 means H by 50, H by 50 plus 2 H L into same here also L by 50. minus 3 h square into h by 50, h by 50. Okay. Now, substituting pi by 3, simplification you have to do. 1 by 50 you can take on common 50 H L square plus 2 H L square minus 3 H cube minus 3 H cube. You can take H common pi H by 150 L square plus 2 L square, 3 L square minus 3 H cube. 
3 h square. Okay, substituting 3 common pi by h by 50 into L square minus h square. Substituting L value and h value, these two values, this value, this value we have to substitute. Pi into h is 15 by 50 into L square, L square is 625 minus 225. So, this is 15 pi by 50 into this will be 400, 58 ja, am I correct? Sorry, 50, 58 ja 400. So, this is 120 pi cc. So, which is the right option? First option will be the right option. 